Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch Cyberpunk 2077 game on your computer or if you're facing crashing, freezing, flatline or access violation error or black screen issue with the game on your computer. Now there are multiple steps. So at the end of each step, try to launch the game, but still you're facing the problem, then move on to the next step. Now the first step which has worked for many players is doing a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have an NVIDIA graphic card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD, go to AMD website. Now select your graphic card from the list. Click on search. Then click on download. Again, click on download. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file and then you will see the screen. Click on agree and continue and then select the custom option. Then click on next and then make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation put a check over here and then click on next and once the update is installed restart your computer and then try to launch the game now still you're facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and turn off the steam and gog overlay so if you purchase the game from steam make sure that you turn off the overlay from steam if you purchase the game from gog you can go ahead and turn off the overlay in gog so launch steam and then on the top here, you can see the steam. So click on it, then click on settings. Now go to in game option over here. And here you can see enable the steam overlay while in game, uncheck this and then click on OK. You can also do this from the game itself. So uh, make a right click on the game and then go to properties. Now under the general tab here, you can see the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game uncheck this click on close and then try to launch the game now if you have gog you can open gog and then go to settings on the top and then click on click on the gear icon then click on settings go to interface oh uh, go to game features actually and then over here you can see the overlay option uncheck this and then try to launch the game if you have any additional overlay application which is running on the computer, make sure that you close it. So if you have GE Force Experience open on the computer, you can go ahead and close GE Force Experience. Or you can turn off the overlay in GE Force Experience. And if you have Discord running, close the Discord or you can go ahead and turn off the overlay in Discord. So you can make sure that you exit from here. And this has worked for many users, so it might work for you. The next step is to try starting the game from red pre launcher and that also as an administrator. So go to the game installation folder. So make a right click on the game, then click on manage, then click on browse local files. And here you can see red pre launcher, make a right click, then select properties, go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, then click on apply. Okay and then try to launch the game from here using the red pre-launcher. So just make a double click, launch the game from the launcher. Now still you're facing the problem, then you can go ahead and launch the game as an administrator from the exe file. So again, go to the game installation folder, make a right click, manage, browse local files. And then you make a right click on the launcher and then go to properties, again, compatibility. Put a check on the box, run as admin, then click on OK. Then open the bin folder, open x64 folder, select the exe file of the game and then make a right click, then select properties, compatibility and then put a check over here, run the program as an administrator, apply OK and then try to launch the game from here. Do not launch it from Steam, just make a double click over here and then launch the game. And this has also worked for many players. So if you have any corrupt file, it will go ahead and fix it. So verify the integrity of game file for that. Make a right click on the Cyberpunk 2077. Go to properties, go to local files tab, then click on verify integrity of game files and click on it. Once this is done, try to launch the game. Now make sure that you update the Windows 10 to the latest version. So if your Windows 10 is not up to date, you might face some problems. So make sure that you update the game from settings. So go to the start menu, then click on settings, then click on update and security, and then 
click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then try to launch the game the next step is to disable full screen optimization and change high dpi settings for that again go to the game installation folder make a right click browse local files and then so open the bin folder x64 open the uh, make a right click on cyberpunk exe file select properties and then go to the compatibility and this time put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimizations and then click on change high dpi settings click on override high dpi scaling behavior and make sure application is selected click on ok apply ok and then try to launch the game now this has also worked for many users so if uh, your computer is missing this visual c++ file so install visual c++ file from the microsoft website the link is provided in the video description copy this link open this link it will take you to microsoft website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 install both x86 and x64 so click on x86 file then click on x64 file and then once the download is complete run the exe file click on repair or install whatever you see click on yes to allow run the second file as well click on repair or install and once the installation is done restart your computer and then try to launch the game so once the installation is complete go to the start menu and then click on the power icon, power icon and then click on restart so that should go ahead and fix the problem now this is for windows 7 users or even you can try it on windows 10 so and check if it's working or not so launch the game in windows 7 compatibility mode so go to the game installation folder make a right click click on properties uh, manage then click on browse local files and then make sure that you go ahead and select launcher as well as the game exe file so make a right click go to properties go to compatibility and then put a check on the box which says run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 7 click on apply ok and open the bin folder x64 make a right click on the exe file properties compatibility and then run this program in compatibility mode for windows 7 this has worked for windows 7 users so it might work for you as well apply and then try to launch the game now this step will, is only applicable if you are able to launch the game previously so even if you even for one time you were able to launch the game you can go to this location and then delete the user settings file so open file explorer and then open the c drive then open your users folder then open your username folder then open app data if you are unable to see app data over here click on view and then make sure hidden item is checked over here so put a check then you will be able to see app data open app data then open the local folder and then over here somewhere you will find this file that is uh, cd project red so here you can see cd project red open this open the cyberpunk 2077 and then make a right click then click on make a right click on user settings and then click on delete and then try to launch the game now if you are able to launch the game you can go ahead and try to play the game in window mode and then turn off ray tracing and then try to lower down graphic settings so first of all go ahead and launch the game click on play now once you launch the game go to settings then go to graphics now if everything is set to ultra you can try to lower down the graphics you can go ahead and select high or maybe medium or low and you know try to check the performance so that should definitely improve the performance and you can also try to you know try the window mode so you can go to video and then 
you can if it is set to full screen or borderless you go ahead and select window and then you can apply the changes and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game once again also um, you can go to settings once again go to graphics and if uh, ray tracing is on you can go ahead and turn it off and then apply the changes and try to launch the game once again now the next step is for laptop users with dual graphic card so make a right click on the desktop then click on nvidia control panel and make sure that you are running the game on the dedicated graphic card so go to manage 3d settings then click on program settings now click on add and select the game exe file and the launcher one by one so select the game exe file if you don't find the game exe file in the list you can click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and select the game exe file so first of all select the game exe file then you can select the launcher and once the game is added over here select high performance nvidia processor and then click on apply and then try to launch the game if you have amd i don't have amd so in that case you can do you can do the same changes in graphic setting uh, settings so click on um, type in graphic settings in window search then click on graphic settings and then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder again and then select the game exe file and the launcher one by one and then once it is added in my case it's already added once it is added click on options select high performance over here and then click on save and then try to launch the game now the next step is to perform clean boot to perform clean boot type in system configuration in window search box click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services once you put a check over here then click on disable all then click on apply ok then restart your computer and then try to launch the game now if in case if you have any overclocking application which is running on the computer close it so if you have msi afterburner running on the computer make sure that you close msi afterburner or if you have reva tuner running on the computer make sure that you close all the overlay uh, sorry overclocking application also close all the background application which is running on the computer so make sure that only the steam or the game is running so and also you can go to windows 10 settings and then you can go ahead and type in background apps click on background apps and then make sure this is turned off and then try to launch the game also make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file into your antivirus program if you are using windows security then you can allow the game to the control folder access so go to the settings then update and security then click on windows security click on virus and threat protection and then scroll down and here you can see manage ransomware protection click on it if this is on if control folder access is on over here then click on allow an app through control folder access then click on yes to allow then click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder open the steam library steam apps common cyberpunk you can add the launcher as well as the game exe file from here and then click on open once the game is added over here and once the launcher is added you can try to launch the game now if nothing is working if the game is corrupt even verifying is not working you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the game so you can go to properties local files and then uninstall the game delete all the game folder and then restart your computer and then reinstall the game and then try to launch the game now sometimes corrupt operating system can also cause many problems so you can go ahead and perform windows reset but before performing reset make sure that you go ahead and back up your data and application because once you perform reset you will lose all the data and the application on the computer so make sure that you perform a backup first so go to settings and then you can go ahead and click on reset this pc click on get started so if you want to keep your files it will remove 
all the application and settings but it will keep your personal file if you select remove everything it will remove all your personal files application and settings so select the option whatever you want and then you know go ahead with the reset follow the on screen steps and then you can go ahead and perform a reset and after the reset you can try to reinstall your game and then try to launch the game so one of the steps should definitely help you to play the game successfully on your computer so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel